My name's Lexi. And my name's Seja. And we are part of the One Voice Children's Choir. Our choir is so close together, we're best friends. So today we're gonna be rehearsing for the live show in New York. Masa is awesome. He's our choir director and he arranges and composes a lot of the songs. I don't know how he can oversee all of these 100 kids. They mean everything to me. They're my pride and joy. For a lot of these kids, it is a sanctuary. No matter what's going on at school and their family, this is where they feel accepted and safe. I wonder what the judges will think of us. I think we're gonna be fine. I know we're gonna blow them out of the building. Since there's over 100 kids in the choir, it's been kind of a mission each time we have to go somewhere because there's so many kids. In our audition, Howie said no. I'm looking for a diamond. They're not a diamond, so for me, it's a no. Then Howard Stern, our savior, got on his knees and begged Mel B to let us through. I'm gonna give you all another chance. The right thing. This time, we're gonna work extra hard to show Howie that we are diamonds. <laughs> Children's Choir. That was amazing. You got everyone on their fear, Radio City Howard. How'd they do? Well, first of all, I want to thank you for giving me my proper new name, Our Savior. I saw that in the package. <laughs> I would encourage the other acts to call me the same thing. Uh, you know I'm a big fan of you guys. I, I went to bat. I got on my knees to Mel B. I'm, I'm going to be very, very honest with you, though. This is a very tough competition. You know only a couple of acts are going to go through this week, and America's going to have to vote. I don't think you did enough, and I'm being honest with you. I think that you are a talented group of kids, but I don't know if that's going to do it. That's no way for a savior to talk to children. <laughs> he, he giveth and he taketh away. <laughs> Howie, what do you think? Well, you know, this speaks to what I always talk about in doing a song that people like and not original. I think if they do have a chance of going through, people love this song. You made this song sound spectacular. And if people vote, they'll vote for the song. And for the first time, I really, just looking at, you know, 100 beautiful young angels singing up there, I have an idea of what's going on inside Howard's head. I would imagine that's what's going on inside your head all day long. Heidi! I don't want to say what's in my head. <laughs> See, I really liked it. To me, you filled this big room of Radio City Music Hall. I liked all of you, all 100 of you, OK? <laughs> normally, normally I hear my little ones, you know, with a hairbrush singing the song, and it doesn't sound as good. So I think you guys did a pretty good job. Mel B. 
It was funny. I was just actually singing this song in my dressing room like 10 minutes ago. It's true. I heard you. Did you hear me singing it? Of course it? I did. <laughs> Oops. You sing it way better than I do. Um, I have to say I was worried about you this week because last time we saw you, you just got through by the skin of your teeth. But I have to say, you stepped it up yeah. a notch. Like yeah. Heidi said, you filled the whole entire room. And you, young lady, have a beautiful voice. I loved it. Awesome job, guys. So, more importantly, did you guys have fun? Just 100 people just happy all at once. That's amazing. Give yourselves a round of applause. Good luck tonight.